And as you can see in here, it is miserable and cold outside. But here's the current state of the front garden. So it's all been dug up. We've got the small sleeper style wall going around. It's going to be a nice curve over there. It's obviously covered up at the moment because of the uh, weather. But yeah, that's the current state of the very front. You can see the outside where the wall is going to go. It's going to come along here and all of where I'm standing we've got brand new patio which is going to fill all of this up here if I take you around Skip is still here I think this is going to be like day five of the garden it is a mess it is a mess got some cutouts waiting to go around the front oh my gosh and there we go that my lovelies is the patio mostly done mostly done um, but you can now, you'll now be able to see how big the patio will be because this is where the line is. So, fake grass, nice big patio. Fake grass, you get the point. So, if we come over, uh oh, look at this. Look at this, look. zoom, zoom, zoom. She can't see me, she's working hard. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, once it's all done, that's when you're really and truly going to get the idea of it. But we're very impressed so far. So yeah, day five is going to begin today. Lots more time lapses. Looking forward to when the grass is going to be put down. And obviously the uh, rest of the patio. But my feet are disgusting. So let's get back inside and get into those time lapses. Are you ready? Three, two, one. It will all have to be redone, all of it. And let this serve as a lesson to the lot of you. Okay guys, you've waited months to see the reveal and now it's the time. Come with us. So here is the finished product. We have been waiting for months and months for this. It's just, I'm in love. We have gone for a Florida, tiki, beachy theme, basically. So we have our large, large patio, which is British ivory porcelain. Then we've got our tiki's. So palm trees, we have five of them here. Um, on three of them, we have amazing solar lights. We just got them from BNQ. Um, I think they're so nice in the evening when they come on. And all they are is like metal ties. And they, we literally got a little solar panel and then you just wrap the metal with the little tiny little LED lights all around the palm trees. And they are stunning in the evening. You really do feel like you're in a tropical island. I can show you a little photo of maybe the evening here. So it feels like when you're on holiday and the little lights are wrapped around the trees. Love it, amazing. And we do have some more solar lights to put up to replace these. We've got some longer ones to go for the full whole garage which hopefully we'll put up today. Oh. Yeah! Then we've got our tea keys, which are from Dobby's Garden Centre. Love Dobby's. And then we've gone for the artificial grass, um, just because we're not gardeners. 
don't want to cut the lawn. So we've gone for a very nice, soft, natural looking, lovely artificial, and it's warm as well, it's lovely. We have some lovely white uh, glacier stones around the edges that I think just puts it off just amazing. What have I got? We also want to do some ideas for this wall. We wanted maybe a natural growing wall or some bamboo or something. So guys, if you have any comments, leave them below. We'd like to know what you'd do with the wall. So we have a lovely garden table set with six chairs. It's got glass on top. We've also got a spinny top as well. So if you need some food and it's around the other side, spin, spin. <laughs> Um, but this is going to be the place where I'd like to put it. Literally, round table, all our six chairs. We've also got an umbrella as well for, to keep the sun because it's south facing garden. Get the sun all day. So we've got an umbrella to put that in there as well. Also, in a future vlog, you will see us. We are going to be buying some lounges, Ooh. a barbecue, wow. and some other bits and bobs. Yeah. So yeah, I'd like to put a barbecue probably here and then maybe some lounges on the patio but they might go on the grass as well Ooh. so it can lay in this <laughs> oh yes let's show you the front garden hi so this is the front garden we've replaced the whole entire front we used to just have a small path that went straight but we just wanted the whole entire thing patioed um, and then we got some plum stones around the edges and usually sleepers are the other way around and I literally wanted to be a little bit different so we put sleepers the other way all straight round and then the white stones with obviously our volcano man volcano bay man Tiki themed, of course, with another palm tree with lights. Front garden is always hard in new builds to come up with designs. Yeah. I feel like we've managed to bring that Hawaiian tropical tiki all the way into, into the UK. Yes. <laughs> in, our, in our beach house. Yes. And it just goes well with the vibe that we are after. Because we're missing Florida. Yeah, we do. And we've even got some of the plum. Yeah, we're going to carry the plum stones all the way down the drive. We've only done one side so far. We can do the other side when we can. And a huge thank you to the team over at Stone Valley Landscapes. You can find all their details in the descriptions below. In fact, meet the team. Thank you to Harrison, Sarah, Sam, and of course, the main man himself, Dave. Also, if you would like to see any of our home vlogs or a home tour, uh, if you're buying a new build, this is the Midford by Tony MP. Please go out and check out our vlogs. So if you really enjoyed our garden series vlog, please let us know, give us a thumbs up. If you have any ideas, like I said, for our wall or anything, please let us know in the comments. Or if you'd like any information about where things are from or anything like that, please let us know and we'll let's get back to you. And also, please subscribe. And remember, do what makes you happy.